Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here or if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about figure drawing, which is I know a big part of um of an atelier training and um since I'm doing um an atelier at home um series, you know, I thought um I'd discuss in this video what I've done in the past and what I'm currently doing and uh, show you guys basically the resources I've used and currently using and um, also uh, some sketchbooks just so that you guys can see what I've done. I think some of them I've actually shown already in my uh, atelier at home updates and in some some flip throughs but um anyways i i thought i'd just do one whole video talking about uh, my experience trying to uh, learn figure drawing on my own okay all right start now okay so i'm gonna try to go chronologically and um well i'll try anyway but uh, <laughs> i'm a bit scattered right so all right so the first uh, i think it officially started for me um doing the figure drawing studies around 2019 and it was when i finished this uh, workbook by julia aristides called figure drawing atelier and this one i did in 2019 so i'm not gonna do a complete book flip through because uh, i did that already in another video where i did a complete book flip through of um everything i did on this book so i'm gonna link that i'm gonna link all the stuff in that i will be mentioning below in the description box so so yeah this is the first thing that um i ended up working on in terms of in terms of a uh, figure drawing and then after this i did um a class by um online class by Aaron blaze who is one of my favorite artists and it's the oh, i hope you guys can see the uh, how to draw the human fig is that the name of sorry how to draw human anatomy so that is the class he offers on his website and um so i ended up doing uh the exercises from this video like not exercises but i think i what i did was i drew along when um i was watching it like how many there's about 16, 16 uh, videos in the series. So I also did a flip through of, um, I think of the the sketchbook, not just this one, but another one where I did uh, some of his um, classes. So I'll just show you guys briefly what I did. And this was again in 2019. So this was another great resource. Um, I hope you guys can see Aaron Blaze is such a great artist and um, he makes everything look easy <laughs> even when it's not so yeah and then after that um, the two resources I was using for figure drawing were more fashion uh, fashion illustration stuff so it's mainly this two books and with this one, Fabulous Figure, uh, Jane Davenport also has a, an online workshop uh, that accompanies this book. So I did that as well. And I did a flip through of um, my sketchbooks as well that I used when I was doing her workshops. And not just this one. So I'll just show you guys briefly what I have. So these are the kind of stuff that i learned from there i am not definitely not um the realistic realistic uh figure drawing obviously it's uh they're fashionized figures but you still learned a lot because you know i mean human anatomy is human anatomy right so yep and with this one um i also did mostly just copies of her work i did a book clip through of this book by Anna Kuiper as well so these are the kind of stuff that she draws so 10 heads definitely fashionized very very stylized but I love her I love her work so I, I decided to use that as well and then after that 
so now um i think this is when i really started doing the atelier style training of um of drawing so uh my main resources are this one here figure drawing design and invention and then this one i just did a recent book flip through of this i love this book so much by loomis and uh wait a minute so another one that i use that i really love is a uh, george bridgman's book and that one Oh, wait, that's sorry. Where is that book? So it's the Essential Guide, the Essential George Bridgman, George Bridgman Guide to Drawing the Human Body. When I stopped, I was on the forearm side, forearm section, sorry. So, and basically how, um, how I did uh how i use this books is that i basically copied the plates so uh now i'll show you guys briefly the stuff and uh, this is a basically a combination of um bridgman and michael hampton plates that i worked on in this book i believe in the sketchbook so okay so sorry 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 let me see Okay, so here. So these are just the kind of stuff I did. This was from a Michael Hampton, I believe. Yeah, these are all the Michael Hampton stuff. And this was in 2020 now. In the sketchbook, I also did a lot of copies of um, other stuff. So, another Hampton copy. And this one is Loomis, I believe. And this, oh no, this one is a Kim Jungi copy, I think. Yeah, this is like a, some sketches of Kim Jungi that I copied. I have some bargain here. Another Hampton. Michael Hampton's book is really great for breaking down the figure into simple shapes. Very gestural. And now here is where I start with the George Bridgman copies. Uh, doing his plates, I really learned so much. I kind of wish I, I kept it up. Um, I don't know why I stopped doing the Bridgman, but...
Oh, I think this one I was doing some... Uh, hmm, what are these? I can't remember, I don't think this is Bridgman, but uh, I was probably doing some... You know, those quick one minute, two minute sketches. I think that's what happened. And then this one, yeah, same. And then this one is a Bridgman. Yeah, this one's sort of like gestures that he's like get, and then this one is so uh, Bertrand, yeah. Yeah, this was the hand section and I think after this uh, I did the forearm and then I think that's where I stopped so but uh, yeah aside from the Hampton and Loomis books George Bridgman obviously like um really highly recommend his book well, I only have the essential guide, like I said, but um, I should probably get a, an actual copy of the, this other stuff because I really learned so much from it. Oh, this one's a... Oh, it's a leg? Yeah, I yeah. Okay. All right, and then... <laughs> After that, well, obviously, um, all throughout this thing, I was also doing the Barg. So, Barg, um, if you guys have seen my videos before, you know how much I love the Charles Charles Barg method. I really think that um, out of everything I've done, doing the Barg is really the one that improved my work the most. So, uh, that one I also did, well, aside from the usual plates that... Um, I've done with his stuff. Uh, he also has some plates that are just a uh, uh, simple figure drawing, um, uh, figure drawing plates. I guess you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, this is some of the stuff that I did from the bar book that relates to figure drawing I guess but I mean really for any type of drawing the bark is really one thing I think that uh, would really improve your work the most I mean that's just my opinion but moving on so figure drawing yeah so now I guess we're gonna go into what I'm currently doing I mean the Loomis I feel like this one I've used before and I'm still using it so now we're, we're gonna top current so yeah so with this one I think I haven't done a lot in terms of drawings from his book but I've copied some plates into my art journal oh, I can find it sorry guys I know I thought I planned it up but I don't know if you guys can see so this is a, a Loomis a copy and uh, yeah I mean these are very stiff drawings but uh, you know it is what it is <laughs> I think this is also another Loomis and what else? Oh, this one is a, a copy of a drawing from the fashion illustration book like this one here. So these are more like the stylized figure. All right. 
so yeah so aside from the loomis also this one um i haven't done any copies of the plates from this book but uh, i've read a bit of it and it's really it is really overwhelming because it's very scientific even though it's artistic anatomy not for medicinal purposes it still has a lot of info so my goal this year is to do some of the plates because i've done a flip through of this book a complete book flip through and really the the plates are so amazing Alrighty, and um so right now as well i am using um another jane davenport class called I Heart Drawing, which is also uh, more of a fashion illustration kind of thing. But um, uh, like I said before, you know, like a uh, figure is a figure. Um, and in terms of learning about the human body, anatomy is the same for everyone, right? So it doesn't matter what kind of illustration you do when it comes to figure. I feel like, there, you know, you really kind of start off at the same at the same point when it comes to studying that so yeah and this one she talks about her, her own method but uh, i just recently bought this so i haven't really done much and then this is another amazing amazing book that i just got from ebay uh the fashion sketchbook by bina abling and this one is the fifth edition i think the current one is the seventh now but uh also fashion nice but this uh, this book you guys it's really great because even though it's like I said a stylized uh, version of the human figure she includes uh, some anatomy and uh, she goes through not just you know doing the like the uh, is it the nine heads or ten heads that she does but it's like she breaks it down to torso arms uh, legs uh, three-quarter view I'll just do a quick look, book flip through so you guys can see why I love this book so much. Look step by step for quick squats, quick sketching. Oh my god, I know what's wrong with me today. But look at that, like all the like she teaches you how to do gesture drawing. Really so amazing. So aside from the I Heart Drawing class by Jane Davenport, this is another obsession of mine currently in a, uh, whenever I have the time, I try to uh, do copies. Uh, yeah, so, so you guys can see, right? Like, oh my gosh, look at that. So... A big chunk of the book is uh, doing that and see she even has section and like drawing the full front head, three-quarter view, everything. And then later on, the other half is like the uh, folds, right? Like rendering. But see, like, oh my God, so amazing. So amazing. So really happy to have this book. And uh, have I done anything? I think I have, yes. So I've just done a few sketches from there. I think this one is from the Jane Davenport Fabulous Figures class. So this is some stuff from Bina, Bina Ebling's books that uh, I've copied. about it for now and uh i had a viewer dia who was kind enough to uh recommend to me this book which maybe most of you have heard already uh the human figure by john 
Fender pole. I just recently got this like literally just days ago. Um, she recommended this book in one of my videos and I have been meaning to get this book because I know uh, Marshall and Proko talked about this book uh, as a recommendation when someone asked them about um, their their favorite books and also Cesar Santos um, a great artist I'm sure all, most of you who watch me know who he is also recommends this book and also Jennifer Marie Keller who I also love she's done um, I think a few videos regarding this book uh, she did some uh, copies of plates I think she did a time-lapse too for one of them so this one I haven't done any copies yet because like I said I just got this book but I've I've been reading it and oh my gosh it looks so good you guys thank you Dia for for recommending this really looking forward to that so yeah, that is about it, I think. Yes, I think. I'm looking around to see if I've forgotten anything. Um, but I hope um, if you guys, if someone out there is uh, is new into this and uh, you know you really want to know what resources to get out there, I hope this video uh, could be of some help. And um, also, I just want to share my experience, just because you know I like I do feel like even though I've been doing it a few well i guess a few years 2019 um i still feel like i i don't really know anything <laughs> so if you're out there like me just know you're not alone it's like especially if you know there's there's a time period when i i don't get to work on my drawing consistently you know i feel like it's uh like a one step forward two steps back kind of thing but uh I do have to remember I just have to keep pushing at it and you know just keep doing it and as long as I'm enjoying it that's the important thing right so right now like I said I'm enjoying using uh, the Loomis always always and also this one so amazing and also the George Bridgman I feel like I should get back to that and I also have this book so hopefully that I mean that should keep me busy for a while so all right you guys thank you so much if you've made it this far i know i ramble on a lot so but if you have any questions please feel free to comment down below just to even say hi i really appreciate every comment um that i get on my video every view every like every dislike you know thank you thank you thank you so um yeah stay safe out there guys and see you see you later Bye. i'm actually gonna be talking about figure drawing which is a big part of doing the atelier style uh, training uh, 